The World Skeptics Congress, Paranormal, Supernatural, Fringe Science, Pseudoscience and how it really is. Berlin welcomes you. Before I uh, declare the conference open, I'd like to invite Jim Alcock, who's been one of the founders of the um, PSYCOP, then called PSYCOP, one of the co-sponsors of this uh, organization, co-organizers of the con uh, conference, about how the whole thing started. How did it start, Jim? Guten Tag. I have just used up my entire German vocabulary. <laughs> uh, on behalf of the Executive Council of the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, and in particular on behalf of Barry Carr, the Executive Director, who had planned to be here but uh, was unable to show up at the last moment, I want to welcome you to this Sixth World Skeptics Congress. I want to tell you a little bit about how the skeptics movement well, I I'm, I'm have to pause here because I was going to say how the skeptics movement began. I just learned a few moments ago that there was a skeptics movement in Holland that started in 1880. So we're a little Johnny-come-lately, perhaps. But uh, in, back in uh, 1976, it was May 30, April, April 30, May 1, 1976, I was uh, fortunate enough to go to a meeting in Buffalo, New York, that was organized to talk about the proliferation of pseudoscience in North America. And it was a very interesting conference. It came about because of the efforts and the concerns of five pioneers of skepticism in North America. One of those pioneers is sitting here, Ray Hyman. Uh, you'll be hearing him talk uh, later in the conference. Another is James Randi. I don't think he's here in the audience, but he will be addressing you later on. And the three others were Paul Kurtz, who was for a long time the chair of PSYCOP, the Committee for the Scientific Investigation of Claims of the Paranormal, now thankfully known only as the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, and uh, the late Martin Gardner and the late Marcello Truzzi. These five people were very concerned about how to deal with media that gave only one side of the story when it came to ESP or flying saucers or any number of other things that go bump in the night. They wanted to create an organization where people could work together to confront pseudoscientific claims and to promote science and reason and to give people rational explanations for the many kinds of mysterious and seemingly supernatural experiences that, that people have in the course of their, of their lives. Um, no one would have dreamed back in 1976 that that meeting would have led to a worldwide movement uh, where there are groups now in many countries in the world, many of them very active, very successful, such as the German skeptics, many with their own magazines. Again, Skeptiker, uh, the German publication has been very successful. Many of you know of the Skeptical Inquirer, published in the United States, uh, edited by Ken Fraser, been a major force in giving people an alternative explanation for these many pseudoscientific claims that still proliferate, still make millions of dollars for the purveyors of odd beliefs. In any case, here we are, all these years later, at the Sixth World Skeptics Conference. The first World Skeptics Conference was held in Buffalo, New York, 20 years after that seminal meeting that I mentioned. Um, 1996, and then in 1998, the next, the second World Conference was held in Heidelberg. Again, it was organized by Ar Armadeo Sarma and his colleagues here in Germany. The third World Skeptics Congress was held in Sydney, Australia in 2000. Then in 2002, the fourth one was in Burbank, California. 2004, the fifth one was in Abano, Italy. And then the good ship Psychop sailed into the doldrums and sat there for a while. We had no conferences for a number of years until now. Freshly repainted, sailing under the name CSI, with wind in its sails. CSI is with you here today, along with our co-sponsors, GWUP, the German Skeptics Group. I won't torture you with my pronunciation of the words that those letters stand for. And uh, 
and the European Council of Skeptical uh, Organizations. So I want to thank Armadeo particularly and his colleagues for organizing this conference. I think we're all going to have a great time. And so let the talks begin. The World Skeptics Congress, Paranormal, Supernatural, Fringe Science, Pseudoscience, and How It Really Is. We're skeptics.